The case of the borrowed laptop. Date, August 15th, 2023. Judge Judy, good day everyone. We have a case before us involving the plaintiff, Mr. Lawson, and the defendant, Ms. Ramirez. Let's proceed with both parties taking their seats. Mr. Lawson and Ms. Ramirez settle in. Judge Judy, Mr. Lawson, please begin by sharing your side. Mr. Lawson, thank you, your honor. Last month, I lent my laptop to Ms. Ramirez. Upon its return, I noticed a cracked screen that I'm certain wasn't there before. Ms. Ramirez denies causing the damage. Judge Judy, I understand. Ms. Ramirez, it's your turn. Ms. Ramirez, your honor, I appreciate this opportunity. While I borrowed the laptop, I want to emphasize that the cracked screen was there before. I have evidence from a family member who saw it. Judge Judy, both sides have spoken. Mr. Lawson, what resolution are you seeking? Mr. Lawson, your honor, I want Ms. Ramirez to cover the repair costs for the cracked screen, which happened during the time she had the laptop. Judge Judy, Ms. Ramirez, your request? Ms. Ramirez, your honor, I request not to be held responsible for a pre-existing screen issue. Judge Judy, let's proceed to evidence. Mr. Lawson, any records or documents showing the laptop's screen condition before and after? Mr. Lawson provides photographic evidence. Judge Judy, Ms. Ramirez, any evidence supporting your claim? Ms. Ramirez, certainly, your honor. I have a written statement from a family member who can confirm the laptop screen was already cracked. Judge Judy, after reviewing the evidence, considering the pre-existing condition and the family member's statement, I am inclined to side with Ms. Ramirez. Mr. Lawson's repair claim lacks sufficient support. Judge Judy, both parties be careful when lending or borrowing items. This case is now concluded. The Misunderstood Artwork Date, September 10th, 2023 Judge Judy Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We have a case before us involving the plaintiff, Mr. Anderson, and the defendant, Ms. Walker. Let's proceed with both parties taking their seats. Mr. Anderson and Ms. Walker settle in. Judge Judy Mr. Anderson, please begin by sharing your side of the story. Mr. Anderson Thank you, Your Honor. I loaned a piece of artwork to Ms. Walker for her art exhibition. Upon seeing the piece on display, I noticed significant alterations that weren't part of the original piece. Ms. Walker denies making any unauthorized changes. Judge Judy, I understand. Ms. Walker, it's your turn. Ms. Walker, Your Honor, I appreciate this opportunity. While I did exhibit Mr. Anderson's artwork, I want to clarify that any alterations were made to enhance the piece's presentation. I had no intention of defacing or altering its original essence. Judge Judy, both sides have spoken. Mr. Anderson, what specific outcome are you seeking? Mr. Anderson, Your Honor, I want Miss Walker to cover the restoration costs to bring the artwork back to its original state. Judge Judy, Miss Walker, your response? Miss Walker, Your Honor, I ask not to be unfairly held accountable for enhancing the artwork's presentation within the context of the exhibition. Judge Judy, let's move on to examining the evidence. Mr. Anderson, can you provide any records, photographs, or documents that showcase the artwork's original state? Mr. Anderson presents photographic evidence. Judge Judy, Miss Walker, do you have any evidence to support your claims? Miss Walker, certainly, Your Honor. I have a documented explanation from an art critic who praises the enhancements I made to the artwork's presentation. Judge Judy, after carefully reviewing the evidence and considering the arguments, I find myself leaning towards Miss Walker's perspective. Her intention to enhance the artwork's presentation seems well-founded and aligned with the context of an art exhibition. Judge Judy, therefore I am unable to support Mr. Anderson's claim for restoration costs. However, I encourage both parties to establish clear communication and expectations when lending art for exhibitions to avoid future misunderstandings. Judge Judy, this concludes the case. Parties are advised to reflect on the importance of effective communication in art collaborations.